Jerry Kelly, the importance of this afternoon's donation. Well, there's a number of things been happening over the last uh, number of months right across Belfast and throughout Ireland for that matter. I've been involved in a number of them and the question that people keep asking me is what can we do? This is an example of what people can do. Activists were out uh, fundraising. They were able to get a cheque today for £3,300 uh, for medical aid for Palestinians. So that's gone over there. That's uh, The more people who do that, the bigger that amount will get, the better we will have it. And it's very clear from any of the stuff on social media or indeed the, the electronic media you see that that's what is badly needed at the moment especially after the attacks that have been taking place you know and people might think there's a, a ceasefire on at the moment which there is and I'm glad there's ceasefire it seems to be open-ended and I hope it holds but you no know, we've learned within the next couple of days that the Israeli army and others uh, have gone in and done a land grab uh, in the West Bank now that's no way to deal in, in a, a political you know way uh, um, with, with a, a, a ceasefire which is going on. What we need to do is try and expand that ceasefire, uh, try and get negotiations going. This is about equality, it's about uh, getting the, the issues that run through many conflicts are long running in this circumstance. But now, in terms of the death toll over the last number of months, it is ever more important that it, there is a, a political will shown on both sides and taking land during a period of truce or ceasefire is not the way to do it. You know, and that, that, that has to be said and has to be said loud and clear. And the Israelis uh, have a lot of power. They need to use that power uh, wisely in terms of trying to get to a point uh, where we can have uh, proper negotiations on an equal basis which can sort out all the difficulties for the Palestinians and Israelis who live in this area. Michael Lanigan, how important are donations like the one you received today? They're extremely important because people don't recognise uh, the need is not going to be for the rebuilding of Gaza, but it's to try and sustain the people that are there. And little things to some people are enormously valuable to them. So even the, the, the things like milk, things, you know, small medicines, last of last, America, uh, when somebody goes out on an emergency call, just to have a simple box of what we call a Red Cross little packet, so they can deal with superficial injuries, things like that. So every, uh, whether it's a pound or whether it's euro or whether it's a dollar, is extremely important. Uh, we had a donation of uh, 300 limited edition prints from Robert Ballet, a great uh, painter, and we got uh, 35,000 for those, and the 35,000 was matched by the trade union movement. So th we built a small unit called the James Connolly Memorial H Hospital Unit in Gaza. Luckily enough, it hasn't been bombed out, but, but it doesn't have, it, it lost a huge amount of the equipment that was there. Now I have to thank the Sinn Féin organisation up here for the amount of work they've done. This is not the first time they've, they've, they've helped Gaza and the Palestinians. The Irish people north and south are extremely generous to, to just causes. They, and this is a just cause and they do open their hearts to the Palestinians. They have done it in the past and will continue to do so. I have to say it's great that Irish uh, Medical Aid for Palestinians have been doing tremendous work over many, many years there. And I want to see that work continue and I certainly would like to see much more money gathered up and hope that that can be also presented to uh, Irish Medical Aid um, for Palestinians as well because that work is directly hitting front line, it's helping people there who need badly uh, need of, of medical aid, it's getting right there right away and immediately and I think that's the type of focus we want to see and I well, obviously want to commend everybody from Belfast who have put their hands in their pocket and dug deep um, for these charities but I want to thank the work that these charities do out there because without them I think Gaza would be a lot worse off.